Hey, this is your traveling agronomist out here in South Texas. Out here in South Texas for the last time, then we're headed north. We just finished planting Garden City, Kansas. We still have Manhattan, Kansas, and a couple more places to go. So we're gonna start seeing the rest of the world real quick. All right, guys, we're here in our eye growth block. This is where all of our herbicide tolerant uh, hybrids are. We're taking a look at our hybrids uh, in the eye growth block and how they perform. Right now, the first up is 1120. This is easily my favorite South Texas hybrid. It's probably gonna be a game changer for us. It has been all across the world because this hybrid has been in Australia. It's been in Europe. South America and out here in North America. Just really good grain color. Good exertion, it's taller. Major indicator of yield potential is plant height. So this is great to see a stable uh, plant height that's not falling over. Tall sorghum can fall over very easily. We have Two other hybrids, the 2193 and 2168, as well as some experimentals. All right, well, we have a lot of late tillers on this particular hybrid. This is a, a full season, 3189, but we also see late tillers on the 3127 and any of these longer season hybrids. And the reason for that is we are actually having a lot of moisture drive the plant to make more grain. And this is gonna really impact our harvest decisions. The goal now is to get the crop out as fast as possible. This is some of the highest valued grain sorghum these growers have seen in many, many years. So we gotta get it out of the field, into the bin, or on a boat and sold. So waiting for some of these late tillers is not gonna be an ideal situation. But right over here's my pride and joy. This is my experimental block that we have. This is where we test everything that we have. And then all over in this direction, we have all of our commercial checks, our decabs, our pioneers uh, that we're checking against. But this right here is just one we've been looking at for a couple of years now, and we're getting real close to going into commercial uh, release. This is XG160. Exceptionally, tabletop level. This is ideal for a grower because it will allow for very even harvest, just a beautiful grain color, exceptionally large head for the maturity. It's right there in that 63 day to mid bloom range and it's highly aphid tolerant. So this is gonna be an excellent fit for this market. Another hybrid that we have that's really exciting is the XG404. This is a much larger plant. As you can see on my height, it's, it's right up to my shoulder and my chest. The plant height is gonna give it exceptional yield potential for a medium late maturity. It's gonna be a top end yielder, but most important, it's gonna have sugarcane aphid tolerance in it as well. So the sorghum head right here is fully mature at this point. There's really not a lot of uh, vulnerability to it, but the stink bugs are just ballooning out of control. And what's helping their population grow so much is the later tillers that we have in the field and also the varying maturity. So they were able to move in really early on when our early sorghum was much younger and they've been able to grow and multiply in the field because we haven't been able to get it into spray, but then also they've had varying maturities to continually feed on in the field. 
Uh, we're also seeing some uh, populations of our beneficials, but we're not seeing many sugarcane aphids. Uh, so that's uh, really good for us to see. Uh, not having that end of season pest yet, uh, we are seeing some lacewing eggs, so we are seeing some beneficial activity, but no uh, aphid issues at this point. Just some stink bugs and some headworms that uh, uh, we're trying to ride out the end of the season without having to use more insecticide. So. so as I mentioned, it's a quick trip down here to South Texas. We had to get some photos, had a quick field day with a couple growers and some industry uh, specialist wanting to learn more about the new herbicide tolerant sorghum but uh, I'm now loading up we got a couple more fields to see we're making our final notes in the field combines are gonna be in the field coming probably in the next two weeks and uh, we're gonna be taking these plots to harvest so stay tuned like and subscribe and we'll have uh, some really cool shots of some research combines in the field uh, as we start taking these uh, crops to harvest and we'll start seeing who's the winner and who's the loser uh, and sharing those results with you then but until then stay dry lord knows we need to uh, and good luck with your crops out there